Thank you. Uh, where are we going now, man? So, we're going to climb or walk up Peña Mea. We'll get just around here, you can see it better. This mountain here, can you see it? It's uh, 1500 meters, so that's higher than anywhere in the UK. Wow. Higher than Ben Nevis, higher than all the big mountains in the UK. But around here, it's quite a small one, but it's a lovely walk. And how long is the, the walk we're going to do today? It's going to be about six hours. It's nice. a circular trip. And uh, there's some very famous landmarks. There's a massive hole, arch in the rock, which is called the Eye, or the Okali. And uh, we're going to see that on the way down. And it's the mountain we're going to be climbing while well, walking up today or hiking up today. But of course we're going to do it silence. Yeah. So what's the what's this whole silence thing? What's this all about? Well, it's a kind of um, walking meditation. It's sort of like mindfulness whilst walking. It's not mindful walking where you kind of really carefully place your feet. It's you know mindful walking is what monks do around the cloisters as a meditation. But this is more like mindfulness whilst walking. And uh, you use your senses, just tune into your senses and away from the churn of the thinking mind. Um, and it's a great meditation because it's difficult to listen to the world. We really focus on the auditory world, all the sounds. Um, and it's difficult to sort of listen to your own mind rabbiting away and all the beautiful natural sounds at the same time. So it's a really good way of, uh, you know, creating that gateway state to the potential of proper meditation and sort of transcendence, moments of bliss. And it's also just the best way to uh, enjoy the walk. Not much words to say. You can hear it all in the silence. But the silence is everything all at the same time. This symphony of life, this orchestra.
So we've just come down from the mountain and uh, it was the first time that I've ever hiked up a treacherous mountain. <laughs> In the beginning it was, it wasn't easy because I'm an urban jungle dweller. I came here very honored that Frank Frankie took me on this this walk and um, you know it's definitely a, a meditation you got all these anticipations and all these things that can be running through your mind before you set off on this journey or any journey. But what I realized as I walked, you know, the terrain didn't get any easier as we went higher and steeper. The ground below my foot at some areas was not secure. So there was no more worries about the future, no more regrets of the past. It was about every step, every single step, making sure every step was a steadfast one, a diligent one. Um, sublime you know, it made me realize many things in my life where at times when it seemed like the destination was so far sometimes I would not begin the journey worrying about the journey when you just take that first step and not even looking at the de destination, not even thinking about the goal, making every breath count, just moving forward gradually, steadily. And before you know it, you're on top of a mountain. When we reached the peak, you know, we remained silent because the whole walk was about practicing silence. Silence in the sense where we're not being distracted. This was really important. But as I stood on top of the peak and looked around 360, well, and only above me was the sky. <laughs> you know, there's a sense of achievement, isn't it? And then we opened our packed lunch that Frankie uh, lovingly prepared. Ate it in merriment. Every mouthful was so mm, savoured. And then it was time to continue on. And it was at that moment that I was reminded again that there is no destination. The journey is the destination. You know, it's nice to set goals. It's nice to, you know, pick a point in the horizon and go towards it. But man, when you once you get there, like, what what do you do? <laughs> Just keep on going. There were moments where I was, had thoughts of my parents 
remembering the journey that they had experienced in order for me to be here. <laughs> and when I looked further and I saw all my ancestors, and then as I returned back to the present, it made me feel so blessed, so powerful, you know. Not in an arrogant way, but very blessed that I am continuing continuing on. You know, for the generations to come. And whoa, it's not gonna end, is it? <laughs> you know, who, whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, I really wished, you know, that you can hopefully at least one moment, one brief moment of your experience, experience or addict have experienced. And it's such a, it's like epiphany, isn't it? It's like, a, it's like enlightenment. <laughs> it's like you're turning on the switch and all of a sudden, whoa, you're here, you're, you're, you're present. So yeah, I realized it. I am, the, I am the journey. I am the destination. Wow, my living prayer. Uh, we have made it. We made it. Uh, how long was that, Frankie? I don't even know. Man. I think it's six hours. Six hours. Six, six and a half hours. Whew. And this is where we started. And what I'm gonna do is, this stick that I found in the beginning, I'm gonna place it back here, because it's gonna be used by someone who really needs it. And look, someone's already left the rose here, you see that? So I'm gonna leave a stick here for the next travel up to, uh, I can't remember, what's the name of the mountain? Penya Maya. Penya Maya. But Frankie, bro, that was freaking awesome. I'm very humbled. And man, I'm just so humbled that you invited me on this walking spirit. Um, I'll let the viewers know about this and uh, they need to come. Any words, Frankie? It's just great walking with you. <laughs> After all these years to reconnect and do something like this together. It was epic. Yeah, really epic. Like, even though we were in silence, there was points of the, of the climb where we just started giggling and we had to hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, it was, it's been an epic journey so far. Yeah. Amazing. Thank uh, you. And I really hope, you know, maybe in like 20 years time, we'll be up Mount Everest or somewhere. <laughs> I want to go into the kill zone, man. <laughs> okay, maybe we'd be like uh, in in Hawaii somewhere. In the last 200 meters of Everest, <laughs> walking through dead bodies. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, but we yeah. Should walk again. Yeah. Let's do it. But that was amazing. Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much, Frankie. You're from the deepest reaches of my being. Thank you so much for... for being my guide on this beautiful, wonderful, sublime journey. And, um, wow. <laughs> I'm the avatar known as Tao Chikai, Omni Dufu Home.